another kind of losing streak that you're handling right now. But just in the big picture, how do you think that you guys are playing right now on a night in and night out yeah. basis? Um, I think if you asked me that, a couple of the prior games, more more after the Indiana uh, little mini series there, I would say I thought we were playing better. Um, you know, I did not think we played well last night. I didn't think we did the things that that we've been calling for and that we've needed um, to do. And uh, you know, we'll uh, we'll address that by getting out to work today. How do you? What do you attribute to the slippage there? I mean, is it a mental thing? Is it? Uh... Yeah, I, I think I think it's it's a it's a number of things. I mean, it's you know, when trying to integrate Carl back to you know, we we our package is a little bit different offensively. Um, you know, and then also, you know, when you get to this point in the season, I mean, everywhere you go, when you, you know, see other teams, everybody says the same thing. You know, hey, it's these are the dog days of the season, but you know, we're not we're not good enough to have that type of mindset. So we got to make sure that we we don't um, fall into that. The late game numbers lately haven't been very good. And it's a smaller sample size. Yeah. But is there anything you would attribute that to? Where you're seeing any consistent issues in the last couple of years? Um, yeah, I mean, I, th I think we. We're trying to get organized, um, you know. But a lot of times, it's you know we, we ran you know one of our one of our fourth quarter go to sets for Cat last night, and we scored you know two straight times, and then we tried to run again, and we just weren't able to execute. And so it's the execution portion of things that we need to become better at down the stretch, and uh, we need to grow with that. And our you know we'll work on that today. We'll focus on on that you know within our fourth quarter segment. Um, because that, that's hurt us. And, uh, you know, you, you might feel a little bit differently um, had some of those those plays not been empty possessions. And a lot of times we're, we're leading into live ball turnovers where the opposing team is able, able to you know, score in, in transition, and those are back breakers for you. So I think you can, you can learn and kind of tell the team after seeing Indiana, Denver, Toronto, yeah. kind of attack these four and yeah. do what they needed to do to come out with a win. I mean, that, that right there, and that's that's the ultimate message, is that you know there's a reason these are these are home court advantage teams in the NBA, and they're consistent home court advantage teams now. It's because they, they know that the fourth quarter is different, just like the second half is different than the first half, and just like the last two minutes of a game is different than the first ten minutes of the fourth quarter. I mean, it, it all you know plays into each other, and you know it's you, you want to make sure that you know as, as young players come together, uh, you know they don't don't you can't fall into the you know youth um, you know experience uh, you know trap late in games. You need, you need to find a way to um, compete against the, these other guys, and because um, you know nobody's nobody's checking how old you are late in games. Um, is it kind of the defensive side that makes it more difficult to play those two together? Yeah, yeah, uh, it, it does, and and it's, um, you know, it, it's one of those things too, and with how we how we want to play from moving forward, um, you know, we, we want to play where we have a, a four man who's um, able to put the ball on the floor a little bit in the slot, uh, a little more active in that sense. Uh, and we're able to run the floor and play a little bit faster. Now our our pace numbers have not been been solid either. So we, we need that's something we need to address, and um, you know we need to continue to build on. It's fast break numbers this year in general. One of them things have been more disappointed. Yeah. Like yeah, it is. I mean, especially last night when you're when you're fourth and in, in when you have four fast break points. Uh, you know, it, it's. It is disappointing, and, and I think we're getting opportunities. As you go through the film, you're getting opportunities. We're just not converting, and part of that is our finishing at the rim, and, and part of that is our decision making in the open court too. Is that the next thing for Jared? I mean, there was a stretch yeah. last night. He got to the yeah. Five yeah. Yeah. That, that's a big, big part of um, where his his growth need, growth needs to continue to improve. And I think we saw a stretch there, you know, especially that Toronto game when he had 26, where you know he's he's using his body better. And uh, you know, but it's got to be—it's got to be fully, you know, it's got to be consistent. And uh, he's getting better and better with that. I know he's—I mean, there's—that's somebody I never worry about putting the time in, you know, in terms of trying trying to improve. And um, he's gotten a lot better since early in the season. And uh, you know, I'm—I'm I'm really happy with, with his growth 
So, you know, that that's a, a major positive, even if last night wasn't, you know, his, his best game. You're right. I know you guys have bigger issues that you're dealing with, but if, if, he, if Jarrett could get an invitation to All-Star yeah. Weekend and play, you yeah. know, in, in that Young yeah. Stars game, do you think that is good for a player like that and yeah. just trying to establish himself in this league? Yeah, I do. And, and I think that, you know, he's very deserving of that. You know, you look around the league, um, you know, and, and Jarrett's, uh, the way he's came on and the way he's progressed and his improvement and, and development, um, I think is a great story over, over this last month here. Uh, you know, obviously you said, you know, we got, you know, team, team things we want to build on, but for an individual and, and being around, you know, other players like that, being around other all-stars, which, you know, we, we know that Carl's an all-star center and being around those types of guys for a weekend, uh, that'll really help Jarrett. So he's, he's very deserving.